Hey, what's up, everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We are on lesson 3.7 of the book App Development with Swift, and this is part two. All right, so if you haven't seen part one yet, you need to go check that out. So like I said before, we're gonna add more view controllers to our scene right now. So what I'm gonna do is, first is I'm gonna make some more space. So you can, if you have a trackpad, you could use uh, two fingers by you know pinching them together or clicking on your storyboard and pinching them together to make more space. Or you can also use the plus and minus button down here at the very bottom, where, as you can see down here where it says zoom out. So you can either do those two things right there and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to take my red view controller and I'm going to drag it far over here to the left because I know we're going to be adding a lot more. I'm going to drag my orange one a little closer. I keep that there and I'm going to add several more to our scene. So I selected this as a view controller and I already know that this one's going to be the yellow one. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name from just view controller to yellow. You know, the yellow scene we got a little Roy GB action that's about to go down we don't have the indigo we don't have Roy G B. Apple stop hating no indigo so we got that and added that one to the scene so we got that one and that one's gonna be green so I'm gonna rename this from view controller to green if it will cooperate there we go and then the last one this is going to be our blue one, our blue scene. So same thing, rename it to blue. All right, there we go. So as before, I'm going to zoom in a little bit now and I'm going to change this first scene, as you can see, uh, to yellow. So I have it selected and I'm going to go from the background from white to yellow. Got that. And then I'm going to use the document outline to go from the tab bar controller to the yellow, just as we did before. Control, click and drag from the document outline, the tab bar controller, release on the yellow. And in relationship segue, we're going to select view controllers. And you can see that popped up. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for these next two. So I'm going to do it for the, for the green and for the blue. Same thing. Control, click and drag. There. View controllers, and then I'm gonna do the same thing one more time. Control click and drag, segue view controllers. We're adding them all to the array. So this one's gonna be our green one, our green scene. I go up here. You can also go to other, to the color picker itself. Select the green. There we go. And then the same thing for blue. All right, I'm gonna go there. I got there. Cool. All right. Now one thing I wanted to show you guys is this. So once you select the bar um, down there, the tab bar itself, this is something you can do. You can actually customize or you can use the system uh, tab bar items so right now we have it on custom there's the more one and every time you select a new one it changes so we've got everything we got history you can do that one look at that you got the clock bookmark search downloads most recent viewed uh, featured so everything all right but for now we're going to go back to custom and we're gonna do this. Same thing we did for the red and the orange one. So we're gonna name this one yellow. And then for the image, we're gonna go Y. If you don't wanna do the selected version, that's fine, the selected image. I'm gonna do it because I think it's cooler, but you may not want to, so you don't have to do it. You do you, I'm gonna do me. Yeah. Y selected, got that. And then same thing for green. I'm gonna change the title from item to green, and I'm gonna go image for the G. And then for selected image, I'm gonna go G selected. Last thing, we got the blue. Select that tab bar item, change that title. And then the image, we're gonna go uh, blue or, or B, I should say. And then for selected image, we're gonna go Blue selected. All right, so if we were to, if we were to build and run our app now, we can see that, 
we have all of our colors. We got Roy GB. All right, so let's check this out. All right, so we're on our red and it's selected as you can tell. We got the different color, the dark color, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Awesome. Let's see what happens if we change it into landscape. So I'm gonna go command, I'm gonna hit the right, the right cursor. And as you can see, so when in landscape mode for the iPhone, the text changes from the bottom and it goes over to the to the right side of the right side of the image. And that just so it makes it smaller, it makes the bar a little bit smaller and you know it, it goes over to the right so it won't you know bunch up your actual um, items and elements that you have on your device all right so i'm going to change that back to portrait and as you can see it's you know it's bigger in portrait so that's kind of cool so i'm going to go ahead and stop it now at this point now we know that we only have one view controller file and that's for the red vc to add to this, you can add, actually add all of them if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go through an example of doing one. So I'm just gonna add the orange VC where you guys can feel free to, to practice and do more if you like. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna do it this way this time. So I'm gonna click on the rainbow tabs folder here at the top. And I'm gonna right click, or since I have a trackpad, I'll double click. And then I'm gonna go new file. And then I'm gonna go to Keep it on Cocoa Touch Class, hit Next. And UI View Controller is what we want, just like that, how it's spelled and how you see it. And I'm gonna say Orange VC, since I named my red one like that, I'm gonna keep the same format. And I hit Next, and then I'm gonna hit Create. I'm gonna drag this from the bottom to the top right underneath the red one. And just to make sure that it worked, this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go back to the main dot storyboard and since this orange one is of a different class now, it's just not a default UI view controller, I'm gonna change it to orange VC. All right. Now to, to really test this out to see if it you know really works, we're gonna do this. We're gonna add a badge value. So we're gonna go bar, tab bar item, dot badge value. And we're going to say, we're going to use the exclamation mark to signify something new is in our app. Now I'm going to run it now and let's see, because we did this programmatically instead of doing it from interface builder on the attributes inspector. So let's see if it worked. So it's a little slow right now, but let's see if it pops up. So I'm going to hit the O there we go. So it did work. Cool. So we got our file successfully added and it is attached to the storyboard element itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that now. All right, I'm gonna go back to the storyboard. Now let's see if we wanted to add one more or even a few more. So right now, as you can see from our tab bar controller, I'll zoom in, it's pretty full down here. We got Roy GB down here. So let's add one more. Let's see what happens when we add another one. Let's see if it'll get smaller. Like what, what will happen? So we got that, you can make this whatever color you like. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag from our tab bar controller on the document outline, control click and drag from there to our new one, view controllers. I'm gonna make mine purple. You can make it whatever color you want. All right. And then I'm also going to change the name. I'm going to click on the tab bar itself down here. And I'm going to change the name, the title from item to purple. We don't have a fancy image or nothing for this one, but let's see what happens. So let's scroll back up to our tab bar controllers. Ah, look what we got. So we've got a new tab bar item. We have the three dots or the ellipsis with the label that says more. Okay, so let's see what happens when we when we run our app. So we only see Roy G right now and more. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go Command R to run the app. And we're gonna see 
what's up with this whole this this more thing all right now so we're on red selected orange is selected now yellow green now let's click on more wow look at that so we see that when the tab bar is completely full down here so when it you know when it's five or more it'll actually pop up with you know it'll automatically select this more tab and it'll offer a different view for us so it basically brought us into a sort of a table view and it shows you know the different um, tab bar items you know the, the different views that weren't able to be shown down here at the bottom so it, it went to a whole different view but if we were to select this blue it goes to our blue uh, view our, bl our, our blue view and we go back to more and we select purple and it shows the purple so you can add as many as you want as you can see it creates this uh, sort of list table view for us when you know it gets too much so it didn't get smaller you know it's the same size so that's good and you know it looks like you can add as many as you want all right so that's pretty neat um, that we have this in uh, in the UI kit so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and uh, there is a cool um, lab at the end of this section guys so make sure you do it it's some very good practice and also make sure you answer the questions it's only a few of them I know you guys can do it thank you guys for joining me this is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone y'all take care